My name is Resco Manton White. My father was Edwin J. White, and my son Jesse Byron White is in this line of descent. I was born on April 27, 1858 in Galeon Township, Berrien County, Michigan. My brother Fried and I spent much of our early years roaming the country with our parents and other siblings in a covered wagon. Our one cow was tied to the back of the wagon and supplied our milk. Fried and I slept either under the wagon or under the stars, and when it rained we got wet as rats. My early manhood was spent in the Morristown, Minnesota area. I married Sarah Jane Eppard on October 16, 1883, in Faribault, Minnesota, Rice County. I was 25 years old. Sarah Jane and I were both singing with a group in Morristown. That's how we met. Sarah Jane and I had the following seven children. The first child was Benjamin Almond. The second was Harry who died of scarlet fever at the age of three. The third was Howard Franklin. Fourth was Edna May. Fifth was Jesse Byron White. Most of the Whites listening to this video are his descendants. The sixth was Joseph Roscoe. And the seventh and last child was Glenn Lorenzo. My father was a very intelligent man and wrote a book. He knew a lot about law and politics. Unfortunately his book was destroyed and never published which must have been a very bitter disappointment for him. My mother was a very strong-willed and courageous woman. She was also a very spiritual person. She used to have sessions which today would probably be called seances. I heard many stories about supernatural things happening during her seances. I heard about tables and chairs literally dancing. Here are some of my family memories, both Sarah Jane and I were heartbroken by the loss of our son Harry. He remained in our thoughts and memories the rest of our lives. Jesse was difficult to manage. He was always getting into fights and I had to punish him quite often. However, when he got to be older, he threatened to fight back when I was going to punish him, and that was the last time I ever threatened to hit him again. As I got older, I realized that I had probably been too harsh on my children, and I told Jesse, that he had done a better job of raising his kids than I did. One time I stayed at Howard and Esther's for a few weeks. I slept upstairs in their guest bedroom. Each morning when I awoke, I came downstairs and played the hymn Blessed Assurance. That made an impression on Esther. We were all devastated by the accident that happened to Fried's first wife Jenny when she was only 34 years old. What a terrible tragedy. Jenny's dress caught on fire while she was preparing a meal for her family, and she died three days later. I can't imagine what Fried must have gone through trying to figure out what he was going to do since his youngest boy was only five months old. Sarah Jane died in June of 1922 and funeral services were held at home and in the Morristown Baptist Church. Sarah was a member of the Morristown Baptist Church her entire life. I know Adelaide, Jesse's wife, followed in that tradition. Before I died, I wanted to make sure I expressed my beliefs to my boys and to let them know what I expected from them. One time when they were all together, I sat down at a piano and played and sang the Lord's Prayer. It was a version that most of you probably have never heard. I then told them what I believed in and what I expected from them. It was a very emotional time for me and for them. Some of them walked out of the room while I was talking. I married Josephine and Cook on March 5, 1927. I died on January 8, 1934 in my home in Faribault.